Hey, what's going on guys? It's Arden here and uh, I'm back with another SS video actually. It is right here. I'm at my tent shop uh, and let's show you what, what we're actually going to be installing and what we're doing today. For a long time I've been wanting to do this, but uh, the side vents on the SS, as you can see mine are removed. Uh, since I bought this car, I was like, they need to be black or just something else in the chrome. There's just too much chrome, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm a big fan of chrome, but uh, that just seemed like it was a little too much. So I'm gonna show you what we're doing. So as you can see, mine are removed and they're actually, the wire is actually zip tied on because I had to drive it all the way here to work with them out. Uh, a buddy of mine is actually wrapping them and uh, I'll show you what they look like later. He's actually done with them. I'm just waiting to hear from him. It's early in the morning, so I'm sure he's probably either still asleep or he may be at work. But uh, a buddy of mine wrapped them, and I'll show you exactly what they look like once he comes and either drops them off or I go pick them up or whatever. Um, but yeah, that is first edition. Uh, there's actually a big car show that is going on this weekend and next weekend. It's up in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Some of you, if you're from the area, you may know. Uh, of the rod run uh, my family has always gone to the shades of the past which is like the weekend before uh, so that's what is coming up this weekend and uh, I've got it inside here I just kind of need to like quick detail it um, and maybe get some of that area clean and then uh, the other thing we're doing is we're going to be redoing the windshield tent on here because uh, on the driver's side, there's a big scratch. I think it's a, just a squeegee scratch. Um, and it goes literally right across like my lane of vision. And me, no, and like, if you do tent, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, if you know it's there, you can't stop looking at it. And uh, also on this side, I don't know if I can pick it up on camera. There is a lot of little dirt specks on this side of the vehicle. If you can see that right there on the edge. Um, and that's been driving me insane. So uh, everything else on the car is is pretty good. Um, there is some some dirt specks up here in this corner, but hey. Uh, so I did redo the back window at one point, but uh, yeah. So we're, we're going to be taking this off. I'll show you a time lapse of taking that off. Uh, in the meantime, bef before I install those, uh, whenever he you know messages me back. Or whatever but uh yeah so we'll get started okay i apologize i meant to uh you know do a time lapse of removing it but uh i kind of forgot so it's removed i'm gonna get ready to start prepping it and throwing it on there uh you'll you may see some clips of that you may not i don't know we'll see well just kidding i didn't film the process but it's actually all done um i had a couple of uh appointments that came in and uh so i was just kind of rushing this um, so I didn't have to worry about it, but, uh, it does look better on this side. There are still a few spots. I mean, uh, tent isn't a perfect thing, but, uh, it looks good. So I was debating on whether or not I wanted to go back with 35% because that's what I had on it. Um, cause I was debating on whether or not I wanted to go with 50 and go a little bit lighter, but I was like, if I do 50, and then it turns out that I don't like it as much and I'll have to just do it again. And I was like, uh, nah, I'll just stick with the 35, but it looks really good. Uh, of course I went with ceramic film. So, uh, and then I actually redid this little window. There's a tiny little hair right here on the side. So, uh, as you can see me, but uh, that is all nice and clean now. Decided to redo that just cause, cause it's an easy one. But yeah, so I still don't have the vents. Uh, he said he is at work right now. So it's actually about lunchtime. You can see my clock. So uh, I told him, I was like, okay, I'll just come pick him up on lunch. So uh, we'll go pick him up and then we'll come back and throw him in. So I just went and picked him up and they look fantastic. I'm so happy with it. Let me show you what I did. I went with carbon fiber. So, uh, looks really good um we're gonna throw these on here in a little bit the reason i went with this is uh you know i'm wanting to black out you know the grill surrounds on both of them the fog lights uh, obviously i just did those blackout around the window trim but i'm also wanting to do the carbon fiber uh 
on the spooler. I'm thinking about getting, I don't know, it's hard to find them now, uh, a like bigger ducktail. And then I'm also wanting to do the whole roof. I think I'm actually gonna be doing the whole roof next week uh, with, him, with him, so it'll look exactly like that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, the full, that's the reason I did that. Uh, depending if I keep this car or not, I would like to do like a carbon fiber uh, hood, but like the vent hood from like uh, Maverick Man or somebody. But uh, yeah, so uh, this is just kind of the first step of kind of blacking everything out and getting it the way I want to look. Uh, so we're, we're going to throw these on and I'll show you how they look uh, afterwards. I'll probably show you uh, during this time I'll actually show you during uh, because it's really simple how these go on. Alrighty, so I had these zip tied and I freaking scratched it all up trying to cut the zip tie, but luckily that won't be seen. Uh, kind of mad about it. There's actually a couple scratches right there. Well, that sucks, but uh, so literally <clears throat> there's two clips, one right there, one right there. Obviously you fit your bulb in and turn it. So uh, yeah, that is literally it. So I don't know if I can do this while holding the camera. Got the bulb in. Just snap it in the place. Right like that. Nice and easy. Just give it a nice little firm push. Golly, there's just, I'm just finding chips and scratches everywhere. This is not good. But uh, there you go. There's one side on. It's looking good. All right, and there is the final product. Get a closer look. It looks really good. I'm loving that. It'll be even better once I get the roof and spoiler and get some more accents going. But uh, so just a tip when you're when you're actually taking this off, uh, there's a it's not really a much of a clip at the very top. So try to start prying from the top and then you can just pull it out. Uh, it's really easy. But uh, of course use like a plastic pry tool or uh, like put some, put some tape down on the paint so you don't scratch your paint, obviously. Uh, but yeah, so that is the final product. Let's get a look on this side. I'm actually gonna pull it outside and see how it looks. That looks so good, so good. All right, as you can tell, that, that made a, a big difference, but um, uh, that's gonna do it for today's video. I know it's probably short. Uh, I should have filmed some of the tinning things, but I just kind of got in a hurry. And, uh, but yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video.